My focus is on happiness because I know a lot of people that make 75 grand a year and they have tons of time off and they spend an incredible amount of time with their family and they're at, they're coaching every league that their kids are in and they're extremely happy. And I know a ton of wealthy, wealthy, wealthy people that are miserable. And so I think it's figuring out what scenario that you can put your yourself in, what lifestyle you can put yourself in that's ultimately going to make you happy. I think there's so many people that get upset and they get depressed because they're not happy, but they're looking to other people like, she needs to be fixed. And there's something wrong with her and she's not doing this and she's not doing that. And they don't look internal and that's just personal responsibility to me. Um, the lack of personal responsibility is the biggest cancer in our society, period, period. You make yourself happy. So yeah. So when, I'm, when I go through accountability uh, with our team, in all these areas of life, this, there was one that person I was talking to, I don't want to get too detailed and call them out, but they, they're just, their marriage, they're struggling and they've been struggling for a long time. And uh, she's always angry at her, at her husband, always upset and he's not changing, it won't change, all this. It's, it's what, the way it's always been. And finally I just said, I was like, it's not his job to make you happy. Like yeah. it is not his job to yeah. make you happy. And guess what? Why would he be happy? Every time you talk to him, you're yelling at him and you're angry because it's bad. I was like, why don't you just work on you? You get happy. And I promise you, if you enter every dialogue into the house and you are happy because you're doing all this stuff for you, he will take notice and things will fall into place. But that's not his job. It was just this like light bulb, like, oh, you're right. And then building the lifestyle and figuring out the monetary side of what it takes to get that lifestyle yeah. where you're happy. Um, but I think that that comes just with that clarity of understanding what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Like what, what car is it? What house is it? What area of town, like getting super, super specific uh, on all those things. Um, and I'm a big visualization person. And, and to me, it's, it's going through a process of really, really visualizing what you want. Um, also with gratitude, being grateful for those things that you don't have yet, uh, as though they already exist, as though, as though you already have them. It's just, there's so much power in all those things. And a lot of people look at them as kind of this, you know, you know, woo woo stuff that is not for them. And it's that whole analogy we've all heard a million times with the cabin pressure dropping in the airplane and the oxygen mass falls. And people hear that and they're like, yeah, 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 of course, put it on first and then you can help the others. But people don't realize when that's, when that's really happening, like if you don't do that, you die. <laughs> like you, you die. And it is easy to say in theory, like, yeah, of course you put your oxygen mask on first. But when it's in real life, it's not that easy. It's not that black and white. Um, but it's not until you take care of yourself, and in that case, being your happiness, that you have the capacity to, to take care of anyone else. Like, until you're happy, you can't make anybody else happy. Uh, but I think there's so many people that are relying on others for their own happiness, and they'll never be able to fill themselves that way. But I think there's a lot of people out there that are chasing after a dollar amount that could be way happier slowing down a little bit and realizing that, hey, I don't, I don't really need that to be happy. I really like want to spend time with my family. You know, we read all these books about famous people, entrepreneurs, influencers, icons, and it's always like the last chapter of the book. It ends up saying like, I just really wish over all this time that I would have spent more time with my family and friends. And we get to that chapter and we're like, Whew, all right, cool, good book. All right, let's read on to the next one. It's grind, 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 hustle, 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 hustle. And we get to that last chapter, and we're like, I wish I would have spent more time with my family and friends. We're like, all right, cool, next book. Hello. And, it, and we just, it's like it doesn't, it doesn't ever, it doesn't ever really sink in. And uh, I think it's the only important thing is figuring out what actually makes you happy.